Hi guys and welcome back. Today I want to talk about some of the most hot blockchains that has yet to come. And this topic is really important because you have to understand that yes, right now everyone is talking about Binance Smart Chain, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Near, and so on. But the point is that the longer this bear market will last, also the more the whole ecosystem will change. And we have to be ready because some of them could be really a good opportunity from one side just to explore what kind of protocols will join because always remember that at the beginning is that the time where you will find the highest incentive not to mention that if right now you will be using this kind of blockchains you can have the opportunity to receive some kind of airdrop into the next future but let's start immediately talking about this blockchains let me say that this channel is about educational content and nothing has to be intended as financial advice. If you want to invest in anything, that's great, but do always your own research before. And guys, don't forget to leave us a big thumbs up. And if you are new, obviously subscribe to the channel. And don't forget also to check all our links into the description below where you can find Twitter, our weekly newsletter, and so on to be always updated on what's going on into the industry. But let's start immediately. As you probably have already guessed, the two blockchains that I want to talk about are SUI plus Aptos. And at the end of this video, I will also share another blockchain that is using a slightly different kind of approach in terms of development that has just launched. Um, I'm using these two blockchains for the simple reason that they have received a lot of hype. Many people are talking about them and the reason is because in the moment when we are talking about Aptos, we are talking about a blockchain that is backed by big investors. It has received something like 350 million in funding, and that's a lot of money. And I don't know if you're aware, but also the uh, chief of the marketing is the same person that was behind Solana. So there is a lot of also buzz that is, is saying that people are just slightly moving from Solana, that was like a test, to Aptos. The reality is that it's really too early to understand and to say anything about what will happen in the future. Remember, guys, that in this moment we are talking about an environment that is just experimental. Because remember, right now, each team is trying to solve the big trilemma. And I'm obviously referring to security, uh, decentralization, and scalability. And each of these teams is trying to find out to experiment a different solution. But let's try to dig into both of the projects. So from one side, we have a uh, uh, SUI right now. And right now you can also try to test the uh, DevNet. If you want to stay updated to understand what they are doing, I highly recommend you to join their uh, Twitter account or also their Discord channel. Right now, as you can see, 56,000 of followers on uh, Twitter is also a big matter because it's showing you that this project, even if it's so young, it is receiving a quite big level of hype. If you're wondering why SUI is receiving so much hype, is because behind this project, there is the team that was also in charge of DIM, that it was the uh, a project, a blockchain that was sponsored by Facebook or Meta, the actual name. So what happened is that part of the team that was in charge of that into Meta simply left Meta in order to launch something else. And right now they are working on that. That's also the reason why, for example, if you try to check this image here, this is a comparison between the two different blockchains. On the left, you will find Aptos. On the right, you will find Sui. As you can see, the amount raised, there is a big difference between Aptos that has received something like a 350 million. And on the other side, we have a Sui that has just received 36. So the difference is a lot of money. But even so, the team behind of SUI can count on a big dev team because it is leveraging the kind of uh, know-how that has been developed during the uh, Meta project. 
As you can see also from the investors, there are a lot of big players. What is significant, just to know, is that FTX, so we are talking about the biggest change, it's also behind Solana, is also investing in Aptos. So it's like trying to develop two different concurrent blockchains in order to understand which of them can succeed at most. I want to add also that, in my opinion, there is enough space to all of them. The main point is to develop solutions, different solutions that maybe can try to satisfy different needs because obviously each industry, the fashion industry, food and beverage, logistic, finance, each of them has its own need. And in order to satisfy them, you need maybe different kind of solutions or maybe different kind of blockchains that are working in a way that could be slightly different. So into the long term, I believe that there is enough space for all of them. Obviously, the point is that will the different kind of blockchains that we are talking about able to solve the trilemma? Because, for example, we have seen with Solana that, yes, they have a great team. They have some of the best metrics. But the point is that even so, they are not yet able to be reliable 100% of the time because we have seen a lot of failures during this year. And this is obviously something that is not good for the image and for the reliability of a project. Going down, what is quite a particular by both of these projects is that both of them are using Move as the language for the smart contract. You need to know that Move is a language that is based on Rust, that is the same kind of language that has been leveraged, for example, by Solana, but also into the past, for example, by another famous project like Terra. Rust is another language from Solidity. Remember that in the moment when we are talking about Solidity, we are talking about EVM compatible. So when we are talking about Ethereum, Ethereum is using as a language Solidity. On the other side, these projects are using another kind of language. And in the moment when we are talking about Move, we are talking about a language that is really a good performer when we are talking about the way that you can manage and you can write code and you can also customize it much better than what you can do with Solidity or JavaScript. The architecture, eh, both of them are using parallel execution. That's also the reason why they have a, a time to finality. It means how long does it take to a transaction to become final? And as you can see, it takes really a short time, just a single second or even less. Eh, down here, you can also uh, see that uh, the incentivized testnet, and that's something that uh, is quite interesting, and that's something that I was just telling you a moment before. As you can see right now, Aptos, and if we check on the website of Aptos here, you can see here, up, testnet free is live Aptos incentivized. So it means that people that are using the uh, Aptos DevNet right now will be incentivized and will receive some kind of incentive, probably just uh, like an airdrop or something that you will be able to claim in the moment when the Aptos blockchain will go live into the mainnet. In the same way, also SUI will have its own incentivized testnet. That's something that uh, we are still waiting for details uh, and that's the reason why it's always a good idea just to follow their uh, account on Twitter or their Discord. Just to give you an idea also, what is the uh, capability of this kind of blockchains to scale up? You can see here the transactions, so the number of TPS means transaction per second. As you can see, Aptos can scale up to 160k. Obviously, on the other side, we have something that is a uh, sale potential unlimited. So it means that obviously it can really scale unlimited, but what it means is that according to the specific use case, the amount of transactions can change and can become theoretically unlimited. Just to give you an idea, because that's quite interesting, you can check also this uh, table here where you can find uh, some comparison 
we were talking about Aptos with 160,000 of transactions. As you can see, it is even more than what Solana is able to process right now. And down here, you can find also all the different other blockchains. That's pretty interesting because it gives you the idea on how the technology can change. That's also why I'm thinking it is really important to understand that uh, what we are seeing right now, the kind of solution that we are seeing right now, it's not granted that they will succeed into the long term because this market can change everything. So be ready for that and be ready also to change accordingly your portfolio. And guys, pay attention to one thing, because yes, that's true that these projects are cool, because in the moment when we are talking about a project that is starting with 350 million, that's great, with technology that is new, that is promising this kind of results. And the same story applies to so in the moment when we are talking about a project that is backed by former people of Meta. But on the other side, it doesn't mean that the price of the token will simply skyrocket because obviously remember that we have to rely on the fully the diluted uh, market cap. So it means that even if at the beginning, maybe the circulating supply could be really low, at the end of the story, what really makes the difference is the fully diluted valuation. So this to say that, uh, yes, the price, uh, even if uh, it is just a starting price. If the fully related valuation is already, let's say 10 billion, that's a lot of money. Just to give you a comparison, Binance Smart Chain is one of the biggest one. It is the second or better, the third coin, excluding stable coins right now into the market. Binance Smart Chain, it is having right now 45 billion dollar as fully deleted market cap. So it means that having right now at the launch something like 10 billion fully deleted valuation, that's a lot of money. And even if it will be proving that is able to reach Binance Smart Chain, it means just an upside of four times. So don't forget always to check the numbers because there are the numbers that will tell you how much a project can grow. As I was promising you before, I wanted to share with you also another project has been just launching the other day, and I'm talking about Canto Public, that is another layer one. What is peculiar by this layer one, and if you're curious to know more about it, I suggest you to just write here seven and just press enter and you will be redirected to its documentation. When we are talking about Canto, we are talking about a layer one that is focused on provide primitive tools. What it means with primitive tools is like a DEX. So instead of providing just the infrastructure, what they will provide is the basic DEX and basic tools in order to use the blockchain and the services on the blockchain. The main point is that they are saying, guys, in the moment when we are talking about blockchain, it is important that the primitive, so the most important milestones and tools would be reliable and would be able to be used by anyone with the same kind of rules. So that's the reason why they are working on that. As you can see down here, they are offering uh, the DAX, the landing market, and uh, here they are talking about also LP and so on. If you're interested in, into this project right now, you can check it on uh, Slingshot that is also offering you the ability to buy and sell the token. As you can see, the token has done pretty well at the beginning and after that has gone down by something like 66% mainly because the market is suffering. That's another thing that you should take in account that, for example, in this case, we are talking about a project that has a circulating supply. It has a quite a small circulating supply because it's just like 35 millions. The reason why I'm telling you this is because don't be fooled by this kind of market condition. The price will be always so volatile until we will not start another big bull run. Yes, we can have some small rally by some isolated 
a token or tools like uh, for example Canto and I'm not saying that Canto cannot do 10x in the next couple of months but I'm just saying that pay attention that volatility will be the king for the next couple of months or better probably 6 to 12 months at least in my personal opinion but always only the market will be able to tell us what will happen. So guys, I hope that this recap about Sui Aptus and Kanto help you to better understand what's going on into this market. Don't forget to follow this project because they could be quite promising. And just to give you also another uh, input, as you can see, we have another blockchain here that is uh, just launching. They are promising blockchain optimizing for DeFi. What I'm saying is that Pay attention that this ecosystem is evolving so fast and the technology that we are seeing right now will evolve a lot since we get the next big bull run. So pay attention and manage carefully your portfolio. Guys, don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed that one and don't forget also to check all of our links into the description below and I will see you soon with another video. Bye guys!